Welcome back. Here is Oklahoma Senator James Inhofe. My point is God's still up there. And this is the arrogance of people who think that we, human beings, would be able to change what he is doing in the climate is, to me, outrageous. Senator James Inhofe on global warming. This is one of those issues where if you participate in only conservative media and consult only conservative authorities, you have a totally different understanding about what's happening in the world than the rest of the world does. For example, uh, take what they call climate gate. In November 2009, someone, we still don't know who, somebody apparently leaked or stole a bunch of emails between scientists at the University of East Anglia in England. So they were scientists who were working in the climate research unit. Now, this seemed like a huge scandal at the time. The Senator Inhofe's of the world are right. The most damning snippets, the most damning excerpts of the emails made it seem like scientists were manipulating data and doing other shady things to convince us that the Earth is warming when the Earth is not, in fact, warming. The most damning sentence, at least from the I don't believe in global warming point of view, uh, is an email from the director of the Climatic Research Unit at the University of East Anglia. It's a professor named Phil Jones. And he wrote in this email, quote, I've just completed Mike's nature trick of adding in the real temps to each series for the last 20 years, i.e. from 1981 onwards and from 1961 for Keith's to hide the decline. There it is right there. See, those scientists are using tricks to hide the fact that the Earth's temperature is actually declining. These emails, if you read through them, they're, they're pretty damaging. Oh, say the, and I'm being gentle. Oh, they're, they're truly damaging. They're, they're, it's it's, it's hard, to, hard to say how damaging they are. I mean, you've got people saying, we need to use that trick to hide the decline. Yeah, what they call Mike's trick. I'm going to add certain temperatures onto other temperatures. Now, Phil Jones, the scientist who wrote that email that's getting taken apart there on Fox News, Phil Jones uh, tried to speak up in his own defense. He said, quote, the word trick was used here colloquially as in a clever thing to do. It is ludicrous to suggest that it refers to anything untoward. Yeah, right, you climate hoaxing scientist. Then again, the hide the decline part of this damning email Turns out, also, that wasn't about hiding declining temperatures. What they were hiding in the data was the fact that tree rings are less reliable as thermometers after 1960. Uh, we don't exa exactly know why, but it is a documented thing that if you're using tree rings as the way to tell what temperature things are, that gets less accurate after 1960. So if you were using tree rings to show temperatures a long time ago, and that is one of the only ways to tell temperatures from hundreds or thousands of years ago, it can be misleading to use tree rings as your temperature gauge for data that covers the last 50 years. Luckily, in the last 50 years, we've got other ways of telling temperature. There are other temperature records around. So you can combine that recent data with the tree ring information so as to make sure you're keeping the data on temperature accurate over time. Scientists work like that. Science sometimes works like that. The data has to be as accurate as possible. And since data doesn't come down from a mountain on a stone tablet, you have to work to keep the data accurate. Using the word trick and hide in explaining how to keep the tree ring temperature data accurate makes it sound awful if you take it out of context and put it on Fox News, right? But until these emails were stolen from these scientists, these were scientists emailing each other at work fully in context, and there is nothing weird about what they were saying. I know, I can hear you now, though. Why believe Maddo? Why believe me? I'm part of a global conspiracy to convince you that the Earth is heating up. All right, if you don't believe me, how about this? The University of East Anglia paid an independent commission they paid for an independent commission to investigate whether the scientists were being unethical, whether the scientists were trying to cook the books or falsify data or unduly influence other people. Nobody on the review team was a part of the university. That investigation's 160-page report found that, quote, their rigor and honesty as scientists are not in doubt. In addition, we do not find that their behavior has prejudiced the balance of advice given to policy makers. They did find one bad thing. They said there has been a consistent pattern of failing to display the proper degree of openness. That was the criticism. Not enough transparency, everything else pretty much all good. I know, though. This investigation was funded by this university. I know a global conspiracy when I see one. I don't believe that either. How about the British Parliament? You think they're part of the conspiracy? The British Parliament also investigated these scientists and the emails and the university. 
They found that the contents of the emails showed discussions and activities that were in line with common practice. Quote, the phrases such as trick or hiding the decline were colloquial terms used in private emails. They were not part of a systematic t attempt to mislead. Researchers from Penn State also investigated the emails in ClimateGate uh, because one of the professors whose emails uh, were stolen was a Penn State guy. Um, they found no wrongdoing when Penn State looked into it. The EPA, uh, EPA looked into it. They found no wrongdoing. Most of the world who has taken any time to figure out what happened here knows that the gate should be removed from ClimateGate. There was no gate here. There was no real scandal. But this is where the rest of the world and the conservative world diverge. If you get your news only from right-wing sources, if you only trust conservatives with whom you already agree, the lesson here is that the whole global warming thing was disproven by that email scandal. It's over now. Senator James Inhofe has just written a book about how it's all over now. And one of the chapters, chapter six, is called Climate Gate. Climate Gate equals vindication. That's the title of the chapter. Vindication of his career-defining crusade to prove to the world that global warming is not happening. Also, according to Senator Inhofe's very entertaining book, uh, even if it is happening, of course, global warming isn't that big a deal. And even if it is a big deal, uh, as you heard at the top of the segment there, um, God will probably take care of it anyway. And we should not be so arrogant as to think that we should get in God's way of taking care of it. Joining us in just a moment for the interview tonight is Senator James Inhofe of Oklahoma. I'm delighted to have him here. We'll be right back.